So for today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a petticoat. Um, I wanted to keep it cheap and cheerful, so I used a t-shirt uh, to be recycled. Um, so I guess it's a t-shirt recon. And as I said, I wanted to keep it cheap, so for in total I have it for less than 5 euros, which is really good because when you look up on the internet, they can price up to over 60 euros a money that I would have put on a penny cut myself. So I use a t-shirt that is too big for myself, some elastic, uh, the tulle or knitting. I used the cheapest that I could find. It was a very plasticky thing. Um, I had it for half price as well, so I had it for 80 centimeter. Some base binding, some ribbon that I already had, and some curtain netting, which is optional by the way. I realized I said in the video, and I forgot about it, that's why I'm going to say that now. I said I was going to do two types of waistband, one with an elastic, which is there, and another one, which I totally forgot about. So it's very easy, instead of putting the cut out part of the t-shirt on the top, you can put the hem that is underneath as a slit on the top and use the hem as a channel for drawstring and just cut two slits in it and put a drawstring in it and it will do the same effect and you can leave the cut out part underneath raw because it won't fray so that's pretty much it so enjoy the tutorial and see you soon so first I'm going to cut my t-shirt right under the arm on a straight line just like so and that's going to be my new base for my petticoat where the elastic will go. Now we need to figure out how big we want our base to be and how big we want the knitting to be. So I want my petticoat to be 21 inches long and a third of that length is going to be on the base. So 7 inches is going to be the size of my base. And to that, I'm going to add one inch, one inch, sorry, for the casing for my elastic. So, from where you cut your t-shirt downwards, you're going to draw a line at eight inches, and that's going to be your new stitch line for your knitting. For the for the knitting, you have 14 inches remaining, and you add half an inch to that for seam allowance, and that's pretty much it. So moving on to the knitting part of the petticoat and the knitting I have there is 16 inches wide which is perfect because I want something that is 3 meters wide and then gather it in so the length of it will be 14, the 14 inches remaining for the petticoat plus half an inch on the top for seam allowance. Also, make sure you cut those plastic salvage because it's just going to be a pain to sew it together. And for each layer, then I'm going to cut two of knitting. So I will have two pieces that are one meter and a half long and put together. I will have three meters, and of course, I'm going to sew them together to have a big, huge tube that I'm going to gather on the top. If you don't know how to gather fabric or knitting, it's all the same way. I uh, just go along to my skirt, Lolita skirt tutorial. I'll put a link down in the description down below. And I'm also going to add the same way a layer of this curtain lining, curtain knitting. Yeah, curtain lining. Just to see how it will uh, go together. So I'll show you once it's done. Right, so once you have everything gathered, you can actually pin it to the shirt all around on the top of it and right side up just like so and so all around and repeat the process for all your layers and I'll show you what to do next okay so now you have all your layers sewn in but you have all those raw edges and it doesn't really look good so you can trim them a bit and then what we are going to do if i can put the camera properly is going to sew some ribbon to encase the raw stitching so of course i only have this type of ribbon in the biggest quantity but you would match the whole thing up usually so that's what we're going to do and then we're going to finish the edges of each layer with some bias binding 
and we are just going to sandwich the hem like so in the base for the three layers so now we are nearly finished as you can see the ribbon is on and it's hiding away all the raw edges and the hem has been has been done by covering all the raw edges with base binding now we need to make the casing for the elastic so the elastic should be about the size of your waist plus a bit of easing so it won't be it would fit snugly but not too tight and the size really is up to you. Uh, for me, I will need a one inch casing. So I will fold the t-shirt inward one inch, so along, the so along the edge, and I will make sure I leave an opening uh, to feed the elastic through. All right, so once your channel is sewn on, it's time to put, it's time to feed the elastic through it, so. Take a safety pin, attach it to the elastic, and start fitting it through the channel. Okay, now the elastic is fed through the channel, it's time to connect the two pieces. So just put them on top of each other. And there's different ways you can sew it. Personally, I like to make a little box shape with an X inside. I, I find it to make it quite strong but that's up to you really. And once that's done you can close up the channel and what I usually do is I sew along in the middle while stretching it so the everything will be even and the elastic won't twist or turn. Alright, that's it for today. I hope you liked the tutorial and if you did like the video, I invite you to give it a thumbs up and also to subscribe to the Craft Giver channel for more videos. You can always leave me a comment down below or on the different social networks such as Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and so on. So thank you very much and see you next time. Bye!